Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing with our Thrones Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.3 preview playthrough as the Raido Authority. In the last episode, uh, we tried to push a bit more into the Empire of the Hand territory and we got through most of it. So today we're probably going to start off by taking Saika. Uh, actually, are we going to take Saika? We might leave Saika as a buffer against the PA, maybe? Uh, and maybe then get up in here. Well, I guess we're going to be fighting the Pentastar alignment regardless. So it would be nice to get the transitory miss and Cheruba back. Uh, so we will focus a little bit more on getting uh, this fleet built up so that our executor has something to go with it. We do have a few units there. But let's start off with your mom. Unit. And we'll also get... Uh, Nero's Curse. I feel like that one we've used the least. So let's just jump in there. And... Oh. Alright. Oh. Empress. Alright, so. Uh, rather than just do the same thing. I think we'll go straight in for Truba. We won't... We won't hold off here. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna put put I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put that there, and I would like to, if we can, take out the stuff over Kashyyyk. We know they have an Empress there. Uh, let's get these guys all up as a support fleet. What do you transitory miss? Construction complete. Ah, you guys were probably attacking there. Surprise, it's the Empire. Enemy forces ahead. We will be doing an updated executor model at some point. Uh, we have a very low poly one because we were making it for Ascendancy instead of a Solar Empire. Uh, and even then, we probably could have gone a little bit higher. But we will do it probably up around 30,000 polys, and this is probably below 10. Maybe even 40, because it is like a one-off kind of thing. You don't want to do it too high because uh, if not, like, even if you have a really strong system, you only have a certain amount of RAM that you can use for the game. And then the higher poly the ship models, the higher the chances of a crash. I was just turning at like the perfect angle to not get shot. But I hope they enjoyed their attack. Really, these uh, the starting forces here shouldn't be like right here; should be more back here. Okay, okay. So really, what we've got to figure out is, do we want to go to Kashyyyk and block that off, or we are victorious. try to stay here? So I feel like Kashyyyk is the best option to stop the New Republic from going anywhere. The Empire might do that every so often, but I'm not super go. concerned about them. I think if we bring all this stuff over, we should be able to take over uh, the Artillery thingy online. there. Kashyyyk. Constructing unit. All right, so I'm gonna start building up. Unit oh, there we go. Production. Let's get going. That's what I was looking for before. But I'm gonna start building up a secondary army if we can here. Constructing unit. Because all of our ground forces are currently over in the Empire of the Hand, and they're kind of tailored for the Empire of the Hand right now. Four. Uh. Oh, there we go. Completely forgot about these. Alright, so let's move you guys up to Corellia. And... Yeah, so we'll take Cheruba, and then we'll take, uh, take a Sheik, most likely. Ready. Star Destroyer reporting in. Enemy fleet approaching. Where are you coming? Transitory miss. So New Republic this time. Order 
Is that another IST? Store a little bit more. Yeah, okay. So they're going to be right on top of us when the battle starts, too. We've located the enemy. This could be risky. No, Four you're so far back. Your Our shields are off that is... Super not helpful. We need to be able to do this in a position where we're not just going to lose all of our stuff immediately. Damn, that sucks. Oh well. We'll we'll get them next time, Chief. Actually, I want to check out the uh, the stats again for everything. It's been a while since we've done that. And by that, I mean it's been a while since I recorded. Because uh, I did do a few videos at the same time. Uh, so I guess we'll have to replace those. Vehicle in production. It wasn't everything that we lost. It was just a few things, but still. Coming around. Uh... I guess we'll get Kashyyyk before we do that. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, we'll get Kashyyyk before we take the tra transitory miss back. Let's see, Empire has four planets with 6%. New Republic has 17 with 9. Empire of the Hand has 7 with 2. Penistar has 18 with 37. Maldrew's up to 25. We're at 16. Okay. Reporting. I feel like even with the Ion Cannon... And the Empress, we sh yeah, we should be more than good enough with the Executor here. And... We'll just get these in position. Who's approaching where now? Alright, so that's probably gotta be Maldrude attacking Hapes then. You're directly under it, aren't you? Not directly, but close enough that that is not great. Uh, let's get the Punishers. Alright, so we should be able to rip through the hangers pretty quickly. I'm going to get each of the ISDs to target a different hangar. And let the executor shoot whatever it's shooting. Most of the executor's defenses are in its uh, hall points as opposed to shields, so... Even though the shields are down, it's still got the vast majority of its health left. Empress is mostly down. The executor is still shooting a bunch of other stuff while it's doing that, so... I guess we gotta get someone else to cover that fighter bay. There we go. So now they shouldn't be able to recover those. And we do still have an ISD. Alright. 
the shields I'm holding. On Okay. So that should be the last of the uh, assault frigates as well. Empress has one hard point left, two, one now. There we go. And what do we got left? Nothing. I mean, nothing. I'd, I know I was looking in the reinforcement pool at the same time I said that, but I was talking about it on the map. So there's the goal. Then. All right. So we'll be able to hold Kashyyyk now. I think we'll probably build this up the same way we did the. Uh, uh, what is it called down there? Bothawai. That's the one. Couldn't remember if we were at Nalhutter or Bothawai. Lost Marauder, 55th Bomber Ring, Wing, and Spartan's Pride, but we have everything in position. All right, what are you doing now, Greater Maldrude? This is too much. Don't do this. Actually, we have two HV guns. We have a lot of anti-fighter for all their secutors. Maybe we should try to take out everything that's not a secutor first and use the tartans to take out all their fighters so that whenever they come in, the enemy is approaching. we're not getting swamped. Reinforcements en route. Your orders, sir. What are your orders? I copy. Coming around. Reporting. Star Destroyer standing by. Route. Cruiser reporting. Reinforcements en route. And of course, we only get one tartan. Because technically, all the patron ships are counted as different units. So when it's trying to do a good uh, force composition, it tries to spawn in one of everything. Which means that because each ISD is different, each Praetor is different, it thinks, okay, I'll give them one of each of those. But the thing is, they're technically the same. Because it's just going based on the unit's ID. Alright, uh, let's put those guys all like that. Okay, we'll try to turn around a little bit. Okay. You know what? You guys do that. Where are all the bombers? Bombers go for there. Because the shields are down, so we may as well just use existing firepower to take out that. That's most of the work. Alright, you guys go on over here. Okay, you stop there. How many secutors are on the map? Two? I think two. Yeah. So there will still be five coming in. We're almost ready for our next HV gun shot. Alright, they'll probably be sending in another ISD now? Do they have another ISD? I'm not sure what the exact force composition was for them. Okay, we don't need that many back there. Okay, can you focus on the ISD? Uh, this ISD can focus on that secutor. Uh, I 
We've lost our turbo lasers. Our shields are down. Our primary engine system is down. What should we focus on here? I think this is probably our best opportunity. We can take out the shield especially. So close, 11%. That makes me sad. Alright, uh, you guys are actually doing pretty well over there. These providences we can take out now. You've got that ISD. Your shields are almost down, but you're st you're still good. Bombers. Yeah, that ISD is fine, but it, it was low enough that it wanted to kite back, so... It's basically out of the battle, which is stopping them from bringing in the other Seculars. Speaking of... Can you do that, Mr. Egg? Alright, one, one of the Providences is down. Here's another one. There's four of them on the map right now. Five of them. Six. So, I'm not sure if we've seen all of them. Did we destroy another one already? I don't think so. There we go. That is the last one, then. Get out of here if you can. You're kind of in a bad position. Let's hit this one. See if we can hit the hangar on something that hasn't spawned all of, all of its fighters yet. And last time I used the uh, the uh, self-destruct ability on the torpedo sphere, and people were like, "Oh, well, it's it's too weak." It's not really that it's too weak. It's just that the the explosion that's applied is the wrong one, so it's bugged. It's not really that it's it's not applying any of the damage properly. Which I mean, I guess is technically being too weak, but it's different. Like to me, that's just kind of a different thing. So it's just got to be we've got to replace the explosion, uh, and then it should work fine. But. Alright, you're not able to retreat for whatever reason. Not sure why that's failing. But everything else looks like it's surviving alright. For the most part. That, uh, that ISD isn't. But if we can just get in here and kill a lot of these fighters, let's we'll see how that works. You were soaking up damage pretty well for the whole time. And... Seems like we've cleared a lot of the fighters already. Which is... Let's go for that one. Oh, we actually got the shield gen down on that one, too. Alright, so you are still doing a lot of damage. You guys are as well. Kind of switch place with some of the seculars on the wrong side of the map. 
All right, uh, Tartans. We actually still have six of the seven, I think. No, we actually, we have all seven still. That's nice. And what's the best thing we can do? Okay. So yeah, we can just focus down this, uh, no. There's nothing else over here, yeah. Let's take down the Secutor. We'll HV gun the ISD. And we should take out the shields with that. And then I think that's it. We did lose a few other ships still. Oh, didn't take out the shields actually. Okay, so you want to fly in there. What did we lose that was that high pop? Okay, and then it's just these guys over here. Most of the fighters are gone. It's like, it's 3%. One hard point needs to fire at it. Oh, there we go. Okay, will this finish it off on its own? Almost. There it is. Hey. There we go. Okay, so that was, that was a lot. We're losing a lot of our forces just on the defensive for these. So we lost Ground Support, Tango Foxtrot, Legacy of the Republic, Rebels, and Suicide Sphere, and Turn Patrol Cruiser. I, yeah, I guess that makes sense with the pop cap difference there. I, well, obviously it does, but just because I was confused before. Unit. Uh, so we'll get all those going. We've got that all over there. And... Online. I mean, no reason really not to go into Psyka at this point. It'd be kind of nice to get up to Yaga Minor and then really reinforce Yaga Minor, take a, a shipyard away, a shipyard, take a shipyard away from them, and be about as far north as we need to, really. Until the final push on them. The enemy has been spotted. Choose your reinforcements. All right, Galassa, Zed, Justicer, Spiral, uh, Cordial Discourse, and Base Delta Zero. So everyone else work on the Visphia. Uh, let's get I'm sorry I'm broken there. It'll be a little bit of extra damage. And Visionary. Vision is scary. One of their units tried to get away there. You guys may as well just take out the actual station. Okay, I'm actually going to try to prioritize a different turret with each ship. That one's down. You can help with that one now. That one's down. You can help with that one now. Our 
Entrants are gone, sir. Returning to your position. Destroyer here. Copy. Open fire. Uh, I'm actually going to get you to finish off that station. Or shipyard, rather. Both of you can go and help with that. Then we can take out the uh, Prisvolis. And we can stop Spiral from. or Justitia from taking all that damage. I guess this is Spiral then. Yeah, because it switched positions. It spiraled its way through there. Yes, come on. I'll take care of this. Awaiting orders. Destroy the Alright, so that's all of the Empire of the Hand's original territory that we now at least control the space of, if not the ground. And on my way. Oh, yeah, they were ended up retreating to the same place. So unfortunately we can't really check that efficiently for stuff in orbit over the planets. Uh, so when it's trying to spawn in the things from like single unit retreat, it basically has a list of all the planets they own. Uh, so Saika, Obringi, Yinkor, and Berlaeus. Uh, also Ortrassi for whatever reason. And it, it wants to spawn at one of them, but it doesn't really know that Saika is not a valid one. And it just says, okay, put him here. So I don't know if we'll, we'd be able to actually make an alternative for that. It'd be nice if we could, uh, but we'd have to. Training soldiers. I'd have to see. Enlisting. Recruiting soldiers. Star destroyer reporting in. Without it being like too taxing, but okay, that's not good. Wow. You guys really want your planet, and they have an interdictor. I'm going to try to retreat anyways, and hope the interdictor doesn't do anything. Didn't bust through the shield, so I think it's still okay. No, I wanted you guys. Okay, that ISD has gone. I wonder if... I don't know if it knows that's an interdictor. Okay, that's better. Better for us. Once we start doing more tactical AI stuff, we'll definitely make sure that that stuff works properly. But for now, I'll take advantage of it. Star Destroyer reporting in. Okay, so I guess we will have to break out of here. Uh, let's just put a tartan there. Let's move out. And you guys go to transitory mists. Tactical battle imminent. System control achieved. Reporting. Destination reporting. Brigade reporting. Transmission received. I'm not sure quite what they have there, but I think we should be able to handle it. Uh, I will over here though build. A pro droid, and we'll check that one out. Because uh, they haven't had as much time to build over here. And we have pretty heavy stuff. Over in the Empire of the Hand territory, they've been there the entire game, obviously. And we don't have as many units, so. Choose your reinforcements. Oh, I didn't bring over this stuff. Hold on. I might. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to want to do that. Bring over part of the actual fleet so we can use bombing runs and stuff, or bombardments. So... Reporting. Do we have a regular one? No. Because that does mean we won't be able to use the, uh... Oh, they built another structure. But we won't be able to use... Uh, orbital bombardments with just patron units because I, I don't add them to the faction list of like bombardment capable capitals because that that would be very tedious so generally I try to keep around another uh, a regular unit which I haven't done right now I think most of them got destroyed look sir it's them all right so you guys can blow that up all right, so it's shields and turbo lasers. That's Reporting. two of them. Uh, 
Oh, they don't have any units here. It's all just infrastructure. Yes, come on. Okay. You guys go over there then. G2B, copy. Okay, so we should be able to just go straight in. Take that out. Oh, I guess that was look, able to look like straight down there. Let's use the lancets. I haven't used these so long, like eleven years. Oh no! Come on, no! Don't do! Don't do that! I was jerks. System conquered. Oh well. Reporting. Escort carrier standing by. Enemy fleet approaching. Where are you attacking? Star Destroyer reporting in. What? On my way, sir. Reporting. I think we'll get there first. Okay, let's build that reporting. up. Tactical battle imminent. Is this most of that fleet? Because they wouldn't have brought everything. Yeah, that's the majority of it. Most of the capital. So we can go from there to Kuat for sure. Or to uh, Kashyyyk, rather. Inbound! Reinforcements en route. Reinforcements en route. Oh no. They didn't want to use the executor. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. Ready for battle. Commencing attack run. Choose your reinforcements. Well, hopefully our pop cap won't go so low that we get to use it this battle. I got one. Your command. Reinforcements on route. Enemies in range. Commander. Reinforcements on route. Ready for battle. Course set. Unable to shoot reinforcements on route. All right, you guys. I'm gonna do that. Form up. We're on the move. I guess we'll focus the Dauntless just because it's flying into us. You guys can focus that down. It should be gone, so... I'm just going to do what I was doing before. That's actually moving in the exact same way that made part of the shots miss last time. I made it take four. So... Doesn't look like that's going to be the case this time, but... Uh, I think if we get the Hunters to attack that, it'd probably be better. Because that is an Ion Cannon they have. So we'll focus down that one. You guys get those... Bombers. Nova's in a little bit of danger over there. Okay. Doesn't look like Nova's actually gonna go down for that. An A-Wing squad got through. Okay, so we should be able to take out the MC-80B with just this now. Oh. Just short. Well, let's keep focusing over here. I'll actually split them a little bit. Because we only really need everything focusing on one. Kind of a waste of some stuff. Ready for orders. 
destroyer here. Okay, you're off there on your own, that's fine. I might even leave the MC-80B for now and just speed up the destruction of probably this guy over here. Because uh, the MC-80B, it's already at half shield, it's only one hard point we need to kill. It's either that one, yeah actually I, I think it is this one. Because this one's pretty much surrounded too. Oh, I could have done that one. Okay, you guys can all switch over to them. And you can switch over to that one and that one. Oh, they still got some left. Fighters are putting in a lot of work still over here. Uh, I guess I'll switch them over to taking out their fighters. It's kind of important. They can try spinning, that's a good trick. And... You guys are almost done there. So I'm actually going to switch these two both over to that. Maybe even you. Yeah, you're going to head over there too. Each V gun. Let's go for that one. Oh, they had another one in there. So I probably should have gone for that. I think that was actually just jumped in though too. Your shields need to heal up a little bit. So you're gonna stay there. You guys are all gonna turn around and go for the MCAB. You guys as well. You will need you over there. You over there. Alright, not bad. We lost about 10 pop cap. We may end up losing Aristotle. Okay, you guys I'm going to just send after the fighters. See if we can save Aristotle. It's going to be close. At least we gun that one, just so it can't shoot Aristotle. Um, that turbo laser. That turbo laser. Alright, there we go. Aristotle may live. Is it gonna? It did. Wow. We did lose Cory Boat Party, Diablos, Outer Rim Annoyance, Supremacy, and Turn Patrol Cruiser, but that's actually... I'm gonna call worth on that. Uh, I'm not gonna build a Validusia there, because... We're not going to be defending there. We're going to be going to Kashyyyk. Maybe not even there. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll figure out exactly how we're going to handle that. Uh, I figure we can go to Kashyyyk and then we can go uh, to now. Like, we can push pretty far up there. But it might even be better to leave that and just keep going north once we have Kashyyyk. But anyways, we'll figure that out next time. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. Our next episode will be tomorrow uh, alongside, I believe, an episode of Star Trek New Horizons. So I hope you're looking forward to both of those. Uh, later today, we do have an Imperial Civil War community match that we are going to be trying to do if it uh, goes well, better than last week, hopefully. Uh, so that'll be streamed on both Twitch and YouTube. If you want to join in on that, uh, you just got to go to the stream and uh, the just go to youtube.com slash Corey Loses slash live. 
or twitch.tv slash Cory Loses. When the games are up, they're basically open for anyone to join. And uh, they're usually fun when EAW cooperates. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.